Hello everyone, this is King and welcome back to my Let's Play on Xenoblade Chronicles 3. This is episode 132. In the previous episode, we just did a bit of catching up, housekeeping for the majority of the episode. Nothing was really done, so if you wanted to skip that episode, you could. And you really wouldn't miss... You really wouldn't have missed anything. But if you just wanted to check out what that episode has entailed... Please feel free to go there and leave a comment, let us know what you think, and also what your speculations are for the story as well. In this episode here, we are we have made a decision. We are going to go back to each of the colonies, catch up with each of the residents, complete all of the side quests up to maybe level 50, I'm hoping. So I'm estimating this to be at least 5 episodes. I do not plan on making this any longer than that. Hopefully it is just 5, but if it needs to be, I will give it 10. Each time we go to a new chapter, I will at least allocate 10 episodes to backtracking, talking to the residents, and doing side quests. I feel like that is fair. In order to keep us up to date and current, that is probably the best thing to do. As for exploration, I most likely will leave that to our 100 episodes. I've decided to make that three hours long. That's probably for heroes or no, just mainly just exploring. Yes. And then the hero quest will be for whenever I decide to do side questing. All right. So I have learned a few things that I will be going over in this episode here. And before we continue, I'm just going to go over them quickly. So I wanted to re-explain martial artists. I have played the martial artists off screen to the point where I got it to rank 5 but we were fighting only level 45 mobs and EMs so we didn't get any class selection points or affinity points so no one has progressed in the martial artist skill aside from Senna but I do want to say that the martial artist is a extremely strong class it is extremely extremely strong one moment here all right sorry i had a, had a cough there okay what else did i want to say so i'm gonna go over the martial artist and then as for mio mia's hair or mio's hair we can in fact change it from long and short it was just in the game setting which is not very apparent but it did say that in the notifications i just had to go back and rewatch the video so in order to change your hair you have to go to systems go to options go to game and then just hit up and you see right there mio's hairstyle you can keep it long or short all right for the first 15 minutes of this episode, I want to do, for our housekeeping, I want to go over the martial artist class because I think it's very important to showcase how strong martial artists can be. It is, if not stronger than the Flash Fencer, regardless of who plays it. I believe ultimately... The monk is probably one of the strongest attackers we came across so far, and it is amazing. So I have studied its skills uh, intently, and I, I I have a few corrections to make. So let's just start off by one at a time. So let's go to Senna here. Let's go to her skills, and we're, we are going to look at flashing punch. So it is says it's chained auto attacks increases attack speed. An auto attack intervals is also shortened. So what this means is a chained auto attack is, I didn't know at the time, but is essentially just that. It is auto attacks back to back. You don't have to animation cancel or anything like that. When they say chained auto attacks, that basically means that this character is doing nothing but autoing. So what happens is she will do a normal auto attack, which will take a standard time of two seconds per auto. And then eventually she would get continuous buffs to the point where she is doing audio attacks every one second. So I'm going to showcase this now and you can clearly see it, it is pretty apparent. 
Um, this skill is not as good as I thought it was for the reasons that we have her used as right now and I believe there it's probably the most superior route so I mean this is convenient but the downside is like by the time she gets to the one point uh, one second auto attack duration we are using an art or a special arts and it resets so it's kind of it's kind of mute you know it's not really not really all that great in my opinion because it's not really utilized as it should if she picked up the pace and she got to the point where she was autoing within one second a little bit quicker than she is then maybe but right now she's it takes a while for her to wind up and I don't think that's worth it so I'm going to just you know let them grab aggro real quick and as soon as they do that I am going to have everyone follow the leader and just have her auto attack okay Are we, there we go so one Mississippi, two Mississippi. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Okay, your count. And just watch how fast she goes. There you go. One Mississippi. One Mississippi. One Mississippi. One Mississippi. One Mississippi. You see? So it went from two Mississippis to one Mississippi over the course of maybe I would say five, six seconds. I mean, it's nice and all, but it's not really, like, effective, I guess. So I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. All right, can I get a crit? So what I mainly use her for is for her other skill, which is more superior. Like this is flashing punch is nice, but it doesn't really get utilized to the m most of its potential. Feline right reflex is really good. When it hits rank 10, I'm assuming it's gonna get to a 100% chance to grant attack up whenever she ignores blowdown or launch. So for this, this is not something you need to do. I noticed that she does it on her own. So if the enemy is going to use a blowdown or launch skill, she would automatically just somersault away from it. So it seems that if there's an enemy that does that, once she's like rank 10 or 20, she'll get a 100% chance to grant this attack up. And if she does trigger it, she's just going to get like massive damage. Frenzied combo on critical hits recharge arts used by 22%. This is also very good in terms of the arts that take time instead of auto attack duration. So you have both her left and right skills recharging super quick. So her Agnian skills and her Kavesi skills get recharged pretty freaking fast, which is good. But what we really want to what we really want to focus on is this storm and stress. So each time you perform a cancel boosts damage dealt by 12% to a maximum of 150. So when you're below rank 5, it's 10%. When you hit rank 5, it's 12. And when you reach rank 10, I assume it's going to be 14. But this is really good in sense that if you have, um, I'm going to go over accessories and skills, but like this setup right here is probably the best setup in my opinion, having the arts below, these skills, these accessories, and these gems. So let me go over her skills first okay um and before i do that i'm gonna go over her master skills i gave her boost critical rate boost damage dealt by physical arts and then increase the number of positional art that can be set on the art palette by one which is extremely necessary this is crucial if you don't have this go unlock the gunner and it's the level five skill for it so it's super easy to get i i think it's a must to have must have so when you do have it you're gonna use these arts here okay I have her set up for destructive charge impulse wave focus and then you can't really change raging force but the thing about this is what well, let me go over the left side too so I have quick draw which is also from the full metal Jaguar I believe it's at level 5 as well if not level 10 flashback is from the Yume Smith I believe level 10 and shadow eye is from the uh, sword fighter at level 10 as well so 10 10 and maybe 5 or 10 but these things are so crucial it just makes the attacker or this the monk uh, martial artist so strong okay so what's the focus is we are going to use shadow eye and focus at the same time focus is a stance you can only have one stance at up at a time but shadow eye is a buff so you can have shadow eye and uh, focus up at the same time the reason why we want shadow eye and it's so important is because these the martial artist is going to be doing so much damage that having the aggro the reaction of shadow eye is 
pretty much needed and it's helpful. So it gives you attack up and then halves your aggro. So you don't really need to waste an accessory or a gem on reducing aggro, which I found that, you know, her setup is pretty much, it can't be changed as it is because she's kind of like coasting on the point where it's, if she changes anything, her damage will get reduced by like 5, 10k, which is not fun. Impulsive Wave is nice because of the cooldown, so I'm looking for things that cool down really quickly and have positionals. So for this one, it's just a nice little cooldown, so it boosts damage by 20% for every enemies in battle, max to 200%. This is nice, but it's not what I'm using it for. Um, it's just good to have, but definitely what I'm not using it for, but it's it's so good to have. It's like an accessory that we don't have to get. Beautiful. But I, I, I'm, no, I'm normally getting this because it is a low cooldown, and that's pretty much the only reason why like that's all she has she has a three and a five and that's it as for the five it is a destructive charge this is her positional okay so it boosts damage dealt when attacking from the front by 50 percent what should we just we don't really care about the 50 percent we just want to, the boosting damage from the front that's all we really care about and it gets a nice little reaction to blow down which i noticed perk procs a lot and as for the follow up one that i i recommend you have that uh, chain uh sorry interlinked with or to have it uh, fusion arts with is quick draw is from the full metal jaguar it's 11 seconds it's probably the fastest one of the two fastest skills you have flashback and quick draw is very important flashback has a break which is really nice but this one right here it invades attack also boosts damage when attacking from the front by 70 percent which is what you want so using these two will literally fill raging force by maybe 50 to 80 percent promise you okay so you're going to use flashback quick draw to destructive charge to get all your raging gauge to 100% within the first two seconds so it's gonna act exactly like the flash fencer whenever you can get your um, your your special arts used within the first 10 seconds of the battle like for this case you can use it within the first two seconds all you're gonna do is use a fusion art fusion art and you're like you're done and this is where the other accessories come to play which I will get into later okay so these two are nice and these two are mandatory. This is very good because it reduces or it increases her art recharge speed and then shortens her auto attack interval, which will mean is the faster she attacks, the faster she'll go into her auto chain attack and then she'll be doing one second autos instead of two second autos. So these are extremely necessary. Like it's not really, it's not really needed, but whenever she's done using her raging forwards, you want to get impulse wave, destructive charge, back up as soon as possible and then flashback and quick draw will get recharged by her ability to crit so each time she crits she gets a 22 percent recharge to all her arts this is this includes her cavesi or her Ag her cavesi no sorry yeah her cavesi arts right because she's agnian she has a critical of 52 percent which is also important i'm going to go over her accessories right now i gave her a thermo headgear it increases critical rate by 15 percent points it basically just check this out so if I didn't have it, it would be 37. So it's literally, it's literally 15%, but it's also because of, um, yeah, I think so, right? 15, 1, 5. Yeah, she gets all the way down to th 32. It's insane. You can get thermal headgear in the, um, the commissary of the previous place that we just were. I forget what it was called. I'm going to probably look real quick. The place that we were just at over here in the Agnian Castle. So in the Ascension Grounds, the Commissary right here, you can get that over here at this Commissary, the Castle Commissary. You can get that it's super cheap, it's like what, 10,000 gold or 9,000 gold? Let's see, and then we're going to go back to her skills or accessories. I gave her Thermal Headgear for the critical rate up. I gave her Gust Bracelet, which is Master Arts will be 100% charged when starting a battle. This lets you use her Fusion Arts right off the bat. So this is extremely necessary in, ter um, in terms of getting her arts all the way up. I gave her a hero's glove because of her dexterity was extremely low and accuracy is very important. So I gave her a really high accuracy. She has a 235 dexterity is because of the hero's glove and her gems. So I gave her a, I guess it's just the hero's gloves. Well, that's all you really need, honestly. I noticed we've been missing a lot whenever I didn't have that because I was going from 235 to 180 I believe let me check so if we go to her here 
Yeah, she was getting 187. She was just missing too many times. And what happens is she'll miss her Raging Force every now and then, which is her biggest damage dealer. And if you miss that, it pretty much it defeats the whole entire purpose of Martial Artist. Might as well not even use her. So I got her Empowered Combo, Steady Striker, and then Double Strike. So Empowered Combo is extremely necessary for the rotations that we are going to be pursuing. Um... And it gives you that much needed damage boost. If you do not have this, you will not get the damage you need. Absolutely not. So for you to use your Raging Force, you need to Animation Cancel, which is extremely easy to do. But if you don't do that, your damage is going to get pitiful. It's going to be, you're going to lose 10,000k worth of damage just from not Animation Canceling. It's worth just the wait. Just do it. As for Steady Striker, it just helps her, her auto attack. It's really nice. It helps recharge because the more, the faster she auto attacks, the faster she's going to get the possibility to crit, the faster she's going to recharge all her arts, and it's going to go really quickly. It's super nice. Double Strike adds 25% chance to strike twice per auto. This just makes her recharge her skills even faster. I mean, it's, it's super nice. One thing I did want to say is her master arts or her master skill, whatever it's called. I'm not really sure, but this thing right here raging force it depletes art recharge also boosts damage relative to the number of arts used so what i misunderstood about depletes art recharge was it had to be on cooldown um no the fact is she needs to have her arts active like off cooldown all of them or as many as she can off cooldown that's for the agnian and Convesi class so having these Arts off cooldown is very important because having that will increase the damage for Raging Force. It will reset it to zero. So when you use Raging Raging Force, it will it will put all your arts into cooldown that's currently active. So you'll see this in the video in just a moment. That's why it's important to have Shadow Eye and Focus used up because if you use those two skills before you use Raging Force, you can get as much damage as you can before like losing your buff you can have your buff up so by the time you're done using raging force the buff will also apply for the auto attacks and it can basically recharge impulse wave destructive charge quick draw flashback quickly so i'm going to show showcase this right now okay what i like to do is i like to go up to the side to the side of an enemy because my 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 y skill is my side side positional from flashback and my x skill is my frontal positioning from destructive charge and quick draw if you attack them from the side and immediately animation cancel into your frontal ones it will work out because what will happen is you initiate from the side the enemy will look at you because you hit them then you can animation cancel into the frontal ones and you'll get your frontal positional so check this out it's, it's super cool so you go straight from side to side to frontal but you need to auto first because you can't use fusion art so check this out okay side into frontal and then you just use her focus art and then you just basically wait so you just auto into all her arts gets recharged at least her impulse drive destructive charge quick draw and flashback as soon as that happens you animation cancel and you get 33,000 33,000 like I could have done this a little bit faster but essentially that is that's that's it's that easy it's that easy and you can do that as many times as you want okay so if you look at this i will animation cancel about a total of four times before i get uh, when i'm doing her final art it'll be her fourth animation cancel so i will cancel once with the destructive charge and quick draw another time with impulse wave flashback and then another time with shadow eye and focus it will go in the order of impulse destructive focus right and then you can go into raging force but by the time you re use Raging Force, if you've done correctly, you will be in your fourth animation cancel. Looking at her skills, each time you perform a cancel boost, your damage dealt by 12%. 12, 12 so you do 12 times 4, that's going to be, uh, let's see, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 48% damage boost. So she gets the 48% um, damage boost from that. She gets a 20% damage boost from her, her side skill. And it's just, it's it adds up. It it it's insane like you don't need any attack gems at all because it's gonna get massive damage from just using that so we're gonna do that one more time and you can do that as many times as you want so she gets progressively stronger okay 
So the more rotations you do that, once you have your, I believe, your third or fourth rotation in doing that exact same thing, she's going to have, I believe, 200 or 150%. Yeah, it was 150% attack damage bonus. She's going to go from 33,000 to, like, insane amounts, like 60 plus. So this is great for bosses. But for, like, one attackers, what I like to do is just quickly kill them. So, again, you go from the side, you auto. No, I missed. I messed up. No, no. That's okay. Okay, and then to your focus art, and it still completely recharges Raging Force, which is super nice. Look how fast this goes. And then you auto get 22,000. It's not too bad. Like, I didn't do it correctly because I didn't do the animation cancel for Impulse Wave, so we lose a little bit of damage there. But that's okay. Hopefully we can do it right this time. And another thing I noticed is whenever you're doing your animation cancel, you can sidestep and it will quickly reset your auto. So if you wanted to quickly auto into animation cancel just when you're done using your skill, sidestep away and then you can do it again. So here, hopefully I can do it better this time. So let's do it one more time. Into side, into front, to focus, and then we just wait. We're gonna wait for our autos. As soon as everything's charged up, we're gonna animation cancel into raging force. So that's one into animation cancel there we go and we get a 37,000 it's insane okay and then what we can do that's essentially it like that's all she can really do and that she's doing more damage than she than our flash fencer right because 37,000 is a lot more than what Tyon was not Tyon but what Noah was doing anyways and then what we can also do here is we can focus on sidestepping so I'll show you what that looks like here we go to destructive charge into focus I didn't ammunition cancel that but that's okay well I missed a lot of the positionals that's unfortunate okay that's a frontal so we'll animation cancel that and then we'll sidestep over here and animation cancel into that can we come over here and we're just going to auto. We're just going to wait until our autos are all the way up. Well, I guess he died before then. I want to go one more. Uh, let's try a EM. Elite monster. Because we can probably kill elite monsters super fast. Super, super fast, super quick. We can literally decimate all our enemies just with a martial artist. And groups, group attacks doesn't matter. Like The more people she's fighting the even better the even better it is so we're gonna go from the side and then sidestep into the front animation cancel into focus and then just auto a little bit wait for the auto do I have aggro I do okay three two one there you go Yeah, I died. God dang it. I had too much aggro. But that's okay. But that is okay. We can quickly recharge everything super quickly. So that's not bad at all. We are going to do the sidestep into... 3, 2, 1, go. Break into that. Come over here. That was the back, so I messed up. Messed that up. It's... Once you get used to it, it it's super awesome, guys. Trust me. Okay, I'm going to wait just a little bit until we get the animation for Shadow Eye. Okay. I won't totally mess that up, but that's okay. A lot of people are dying, but we're not really focusing on them right now. We're trying to discover Destructive Charge, so animation cancel into that. That gives us, what, 33,000? Yeah, I mean, it was a pretty messy fight, but let's see if we can get another another fight in. Is it because we're fighting multiple people? Maybe, I'm not sure. Let's go find another EM. For sure there's one down here. It's okay guys, I know we're taking a lot of time in this one, but it's it's necessary. Let's see, we can go into you. So we'll auto to this, into auto, animation cancel, into focus, and then we'll just keep on pounding them. Okay, so we have Shadow Eye, so we shouldn't have that much aggro. Animation cancel into that. We did 41,000, so, so good, so good. 
I just need them to focus on this character so I don't get aggro because that's a bit annoying. There you go. Hopefully I don't die to that. I did die to that. Oh my god, I've never had that issue, but um, there it is. And this build isn't really the best build I have right now. If it was Zephyr build, she would have a automatic target lock all the time. So that probably wouldn't would not have been an issue. There you go. Boom. Seb wait, did that miss? The okay, animation cancel. What? Uh, that did not go well. I want to I want to do one that does pretty decent. I don't feel like that one was decent at all. All right, next EM. Are you an EM? Yes, you are. Okay. Oh man, I messed up again. Come on. It's okay. And it, Raging Force still gets charged all the way. I'll take it. We'll go into. We wait for destructive charge and the rest. So auto. It does 31. That's okay. I'll take it. Come on, guys. Let's not give me aggro, please. Thank you. Okay. To side. To front. Then I'll wait. Can I come over here? Guys, the aggro is killing me. Alright, Shadow Eye. Let's get the side. Wait. No! Oh, she died! Alright, that's okay. I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try again until I get this right. This is so silly. But again, this is not the ideal build I have for everyone else because we're all trying to rank up. Here we go, into the front. Boom. That blowdown is so nice. Okay, let me see. Maybe I can do another good one. Let me try one more. Alright, you come over here. Gonna try to get that side. Stop hitting me, thank you. Okay, we are going to walk over here. Animation cancel into our focus. Back away. Just auto. Animation cancel into 27,000 and we'll die. Goodbye. Oh, we survived. Wow, I'll take it. Let's get the side break. We'll get the frontal. And then we'll back away. Oh, we died to that. Dang it. It's just an aggro issue right now, but if the aggro wasn't an issue, it would be perfectly fine. Right now, like I said, we're not. our tanks aren't set up to be completely aggro whores. So, you can kind of see how how good it would be without it. But honestly, guys, it's a really great class. Great class, I promise you. Let's get that side. Into a frontal. Then we can back away. And try to wait until everything's charged up here. What I want to do is get our Shadow Eye charged. So let's do 3, 2, and animation cancel. Into animation cancel. There we go. And we got 33,000. It's not bad. Alright, I want to get one where we don't have aggro issues. Is there another EM for us to fight? Are you an EM? You are. You're just a bit too far away. Okay, there's an EM over there. I'm gonna go fight that. Oh, that's a rare one. Yeah, I don't care. I'm gonna kill you because you've irritated me long enough. Okay, me. auto into destructive force into focus. Then we're just gonna auto here. I shouldn't have aggro I issues, folks. Should not, but I do. Let's auto into that. Boom, thirty-one thousand. Get wrecked. Alright, so they got aggro, that's good to see. I'm gonna go into a side. Okay. Into a frontal. And then just wait over here. Until we get maybe Shadow Eye would be great. Kinda wanna wait. There we go, Shadow Eye. And then animation cancel into. Boom! 45,000. See, it just keeps going up. It goes from 33 to 45 and just keeps going up. I can do maybe side break in three. Side break. 
that works and then I'm gonna rush over here and get the frontal over there let's go rush over here sidestep over here come on sidestep front and I missed it's okay I mean that one that one was better that one was a little bit better I kind of enjoyed that one I didn't die see the aggro wasn't that much of an issue and plus our tank isn't really equipped for generating aggro right now our zephyrs would have instant aggro because it would be a target lock so by the time we get the kill the target lock would would still you know still be in effect well that's essentially it and it's just really great like we've done I think we can actually find out the math for that if we can go up to total four times so three four five six seven eight we can get up to where it's like doing eighty six thousand per per rotation like she's she gets up to the point where she does insane amounts of damage so it's pretty crazy do I have my tanks equipped if you can look here like see our tanks are rank 8 rank 6 is not really ideal and I had them set up for just generic ones I put the auto build on so if we're looking at our gems here shorten auto tax add boost aggro generated by 30% it doesn't have like a skill where it starts with aggro we didn't have that we didn't have what was it called perilous presence and it's only rank 4 as well even for her she only has boost aggro generated by 30% I would have given her something like short like start each battle with aggro if I had her in a Zephyr class right now she would have a signet ring which has one attack and is evaded she increased attackers aggro by like towards the user and let's see you know start each battle with aggro and then the other one would have boost aggro generated and she would have glow ring which would constantly be up because of her her gems having a 25% chance to strike twice you know things like that but overall we're just trying to rank up lone exile right now so from this episode onward I'm definitely just gonna do side side quest I, I spent the entire episode going over the martial artist I think it's because it's important to to understand because it took me a while to understand how martial artists work once I figured it out I was like wow this class is really strong this class is really strong and I don't know if I'm using it like correctly or not because I'm not watching any YouTube videos I'm not reading forums because I'm afraid I'm going to get spoiled from Xenoblade you know so until maybe if I do a rerun I may have a better understanding of it and I'll watch like guides and stuff of all, all these Xenoblade games but I'm too scared to even look at it right now um, I was already spoiled once with Yorin I don't want to get spoiled again it kind of ruined everything from then on then on because you know that was just like a major key in the plot where it's like oh people who die can return back to Mobius now it's like plausible for it like anything's possible you know and it just it it messed me up dude like it wasn't fair it wasn't fair that I saw that some idiot put it as a thumbnail like what an asshole but we are going to stay away from there stay away from that until we can finish at least finish the game we already know our girl Mia uh, sorry Nia is alive and well if you guys don't know who that is she's a character off of Xenoblade 2 she's making a reappearance in Xenoblade 3 just like Guernica Van Damme he's the same voice actor same character same last name um, different first name like I think his first name was just Van Damme like I don't know if it was Guernica Van Damme or not but it was like definitely Van Damme I love seeing him I, I love the fact that you know his daughter is a playable character and then his daughter's daughter is a playable character as well which is like freaking awesome and his daughter's daughter playable character is one of the strongest attackers I've seen so far and his daughter's tank class is one of the strongest tank class I've seen so far it's so honestly it's chef's kiss they did him justice I didn't I didn't think they did him justice when they killed him like within the first few minutes of the game I was like come on guys you did that to him yeah I mean like I'm not gonna say that but you know like he, he got he got shafted in my opinion but I digress in the next episode we are going to do all of the side quests here so we are going to start off with the lowest level rousing bolieres but before we do that I want to talk to all of the residents in each of the colony so we are going to take what um, we're going to pick a colony in an episode take 15 minutes to talk to all the residents and then after that just pursue any quest it will we'll prioritize quests within the region and then we'll prioritize quests with like the lowest level first if the regional quest is above 50 we are we are not going to do it so again thank you guys so much for watching leave a comment let me know what you liked about it what you disliked about it I love reading your comments uh, I haven't gotten any yet but I'm 
really hopeful to get some and I'm looking to see if we can just have a conversation going tell me what you like dislike about it what your thoughts are what your predictions are no spoilers please I would really hate to get spoiled in my comment section that would suck but don't be a dick don't be like that guy who posted Yorin as a as a thumbnail like not cool dude anyways I will see you all in the next one